What's going on guys? Welcome back to RC every day. So I finally got one of these. These are the 1RC uh, 18th scale dirt oval cars. They have sprint cars, late model, uh, modified, asphalt, modified, uh, several different <laughs> different ones. Um, went down to Shaka Hobbies, my local hobby shop today, and I picked one up. I know they've had them, they race them. They race them on carpet now. And I'm hoping to get out there. They're racing this evening and tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna make it for that. But uh, Jeremy, Big Squid RC, has got one. And he's gone crazy with dirt racing stuff. So I figured I'd get one. Um, last video, our Scale Garage Hangout, we did the, uh, got our slash dirt car kind of set up. So we're gonna have some racing when I get out there because he's got one of those and one of these. Um, I got the clear body of the late model. I know dirt oval cars are weird. A lot of them are offset. The weight is offset. Late model is a pretty balanced chassis. I don't know why. I just, I, I'm real big on symmetry. When I worked at Peterbilt, I hated when we started running the, the death tank systems on trucks because you'd have a big tank on one side and a giant DPF system on the other and a death fluid tank over here. And I, I like the old trucks where everything was balanced from side to side. You had e even tanks from side to side, <laughs> the same step box on both sides. But that's just me. I'm weird like that. So I got this car because it's the most balanced one. It's probably makes it harder to drive in a circle. I don't know. Um, math and stuff probably makes that make sense, but we got this one here. I digress. And uh, we're going to paint it up today. These come completely ready to run. I didn't even realize that. This even includes batteries for the radio. So it is ready to run. These have a, a full ball bearings, 2.4 gigahertz, standalone ESC and servo. It's got an 8,700 kilovolt brushless motor. Um, out of the box, they come with a 230 milliamp nickel metal battery, and they will run on LiPo. Um, it has a USB charger, four AA batteries for the remote, manual stickers, and Allen wrench and a nut driver. So we're gonna get this thing out. It's already assembled everything out of the box. These are super cool. I really wanna get up there and watch them race, and I haven't got to see these race out there yet. I went up there for the Mini Z racing one time, but now they that hobby shop has a totally different facility with indoor tracks for both that are up all the time. So they're, they're really stepping up their game for the racing. And it's great to see a hobby shop successful and they're doing it right. The way I see it, they've got the community, they've got races, they've got people coming in for parts and everything. They're, they're really driving their business with giving people a, a way to run and a way to race and do stuff. So it's super awesome that they're doing that. I know there's a lot of stuff, a lot of places are doing this and the Mini Z's now because it's smaller and it makes sense. You know, they can do it in a tighter space. When they first started it, they had it in their actual shop. They just moved all the racks and set up their track and they did one or the other. <laughs> so it's really cool. Um, like I said, I want to get out and race, but I don't know if we're going to get there this weekend. You can look at this thing. This chassis is all, it's so scale. It's got a little V8 in it. It's got a full cage system. It's got a scale looking driver. Um, really awesome little thing. The tires and stuff look awesome. I actually say Hoosier on them. Looks like an actual dirt track car. Suspension and stuff is set up kind of like that. It's, it's really neat. So we're going to tear this thing open. I did, like I said, get the clear body. So we're going to be doing some licks hand painting in this video. Yay. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to paint. I was looking through my paints beforehand. Um, if you remember my Atraxxus one is very bright orange and fluorescent orange and fluorescent green. I'm thinking of doing it the same. And, uh, you know, just kind of keeping the theme. Not sure yet if I have any RC Everyday stickers that are going to fit on it the way I want. So we got some figuring out to do, but let's get this thing unboxed and start taking a look at it. All right, guys. So this is what's in the box. We've got our remote. We've got a remote for our radio. This is a Fly Sky two channel radio, just a basic thing. I've seen that one before on something. We got some stickers. We got some numbers. Awesome because we got to have numbers to race. Uh, we've got a bunch of little shock spacers. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of antenna, a bind plug, uh, two little tools, USB charger, or batteries for the remote. It's a decent little remote. It's not the tiniest one I've ever seen, so that's that's nice. Four double A's, I think it came with. We'll leave that off so we can put those on. And the car itself. So the body on this one is a little bit complicated. See, we've got screws here, screws up here. It's multi-piece. Um, which is going to be awesome because then I don't have to mask off windows. So that's exciting. Super realistic little thing. This is, this is wild. 
So uh, we've got a driver helmet is molded into the roll cage. He's got a body and everything inside of there. <laughs> Engine sticks through the hood. Suspension feels really nice on it. Um, we've got a little wing that bolts onto it as well. So I guess the next step is start taking it apart. These are all 1.5s it looks like. And uh, yeah, we'll blow this thing apart and we'll start looking at how we're gonna paint it. Ah, it's tricky. All right, so we got the main body off. <laughs> the other part here is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. You gotta take the roll bar off. It's not really a challenge. You gotta take some extra screws out. Take this upper roll cage off and I um, think I, well, I don't know. I'll do some figuring on that and see how that works. Looks like just four screws. But then we've got the rear bars, and I'm not sure how those come off. So, do some tinkering with this. This has a metal bumper. It looks like it's brazed in the front. We've got the sidebar on the passenger side that is a bent piece of metal as well. And the rest of the body or chassis is plastic. Look at these headers. How cool is that? That is neat. It's super scale. That's what kills me. Like... We all want this scale stuff in, in one tenth. And then this little thing, I've never even seen these till recently, 18th scale, and it is just so realistic. Like, why can't we do these in one tenth? All right, we got, oh, there's one more right here, obviously. You got to see how this all comes apart. It looks like it, it has to have a protective coating on it. I'm guessing it's got the plastic wrap. So we'll be able to uh, take that off after we paint it. I'm guessing these maybe? With all that, oh, they're back here. I'm guessing this is how this works. <laughs> I didn't really want to disassemble it this much, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We can't run a clear body. We've gotta paint it up and do some cool stuff with it. Still trying to think of a paint theme. My other one has flames and I've got some more uh, old Parma paint masks to do flames with, but I'm not sure yet if I want to really go that route. Uh, I'm trying to look at my Traxxas, where I put it. Oh, it's on the shelf over here. It's so big, it's hard to uh, hard to store in, in the shop. Can that just pop out? Yeah, there we go. All right, one more screw and we'll set this thing free. This is awesome. It's got a little independent front suspension. It looks like the servo is mounted right in front of the motor where you can remove it if need be, replace it, upgrade it, whatever it is. So they were telling me out at the hobby shop, they run uh, two different classes. Well, I said I'd be able to run in two different classes. They have one that's just box stock, which would be, you know, obviously the best place to start since I have not driven one of these and I don't know how to drive very well to start with. And then they have the stock class with LiPo. Uh, battery does go in from the bottom. I'll show you more of that here in a minute. Move this stuff out. I'm trying to not touch it as much as possible. I'm not going to do it on camera, but I do have to pull this wing off. We've got some hardware, plastic things in the inside to hold it in place. So we'll get all that stripped down and painted. Um, this thing is just cool. It's got, it actually looks like it has an actual quick change rear end. Motor mounts straight to the axle, solid axle, four link, five link, four link with a short pan hard. Um, we've got coilover shocks. I don't know if these have oil in them or not. It's hard to tell. They feel pretty good. We've got an actual fly sky receiver. If I remember right, that was... Can they say this was a receiver ESC combo or is... LED? No, there's a the receiver, the ESC over here. Okay. Nice. You can see the uh, front bumper there. It's like braids together. It's got foam around it to uh, protect your body. Got these actual headers, <laughs> sweet. Not, not a lot to it, but there's a lot going on with all the tube work. That's pretty cool. This stuff actually feels pretty stout. I'm squeezing it pretty hard and it's just barely flexing. So, nice. Um, let's figure out how to pull this driver's head off. And we got this piece right here we can paint as well. I'm not sure, it's a little more involved than I thought it'd be. I kinda, I didn't really look at it close enough, I guess, at the store. And Jeremy's was all, uh, he, it comes in black and red and clear. And I just grabbed one off the shelf and it turned out to be clear. So I was like, oh, that's good. I'll paint it myself anyway. It'd be cool to letter it up. It's, I, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. I don't ever do a lot of racing, but 
I like to uh, make RC everyday race cars, I guess you say. It's kind of fun. I'm not sure how our guy's head here is held on. Feels like it just slides off because it's wiggling. Come on, guy. I don't want to break it. Oh my goodness, huh? there's a screw in the bottom. This thing is very well put together. Glad I didn't uh, keep pulling on that. So I'm gonna finish taking it apart. I'll get the wing off the body and see what kind of graphics we're gonna lay out on this thing. All right, so I looked at doing some flame paint mask stuff. It's just kind of small, those are one tenth scale. So I'm just gonna go two-tone, be green top, orange bottom. Just something to break it up a little bit. And I um, think I'm gonna do the wing orange, the body will be green, and we'll just go from there. Uh, just kind of, yeah, it's about a half inch around the bottom. Just use simple masking tape, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. I always get anxious doing leg sand, so we'll see how it does. I've, I mean, what can, what can go wrong? <laughs> we'll see. guys that's been a, a full day <laughs> i if you've been at the channel a while you know i am not good at painting like sand it causes me much stress and this was uh no exception to that but this is probably my best black sand paint to date um everything did good i didn't get any bleed through between the colors and i did have one snafu the side pieces for the wing were uh, had plastic on both sides i could only see it on one and uh, painted them though we got a nice outline of the color but it works i know on some of these they leave the wing clear so the driver has better vision out the back i had already painted the rear of the wing before i thought about that but it is what it is it's, it looks cool the color combo works out really good i went through all my stickers and uh that's kind of the fun part i like doing the, the race graphics i don't know why i'm not a racer never have been but it's fun so uh yeah, I've got some cool stuff. I only had one RC Everyday sticker that was the right color, and uh, that was a vinyl. It was a little bit temperamental. I've had it for quite a while, so. But we got it on the front where it counts, and uh, I just used 
a little bit of this, a little bit of that Chevy logo off of Dale Earnhardt set. Um, I used the numbers that came with the car. Uh, they're the perfect size for the body, obviously. Um, some of these were ones that came with it. Some of these larger ones came off the Dale Earnhardt set. Uh, I got a little big squid sticker down there. Put a little Simpson uh, safety equipment sticker there on the inside. I painted the inside white because most race cars you see, it's either white or gray on the inside, especially like stuff with cages and everything. They painted all that so you can see if something's out of place. It's a bright, light color. And it really adds some depth to it. So we've got <clears throat> the white on the interior, the black details. I didn't, I painted the driver's body black, uh, just to me, a black paint. And um, yeah, I, I just used my chrome pen to paint his face shield chrome. And then I saw there were stickers for it. So yeah, it's a little shinier. Um, what else? Oh, the body is to me a PS7 and 8. That is orange and light green. They really look more fluorescent, especially the green. But the same color as my other, my Traxxas Slash dirt car. So I just, I don't know. I didn't have anything. Most of my uh, polycarbonate paint is for old Tamiya stuff that I've been gathering up over the years. So I didn't want to use any of my other base colors. So that's whatever. I have enough of this left. Um, got a few fun stickers on here, like no lift. And I got a little RC car action sticker. So I thought that was pretty, come out pretty good. Tastefully done, not overdone. Um, the box shows the number facing the side. I put it facing the back because there's, I have two numbers and it fit better. <laughs> so this thing, I like this. I haven't even driven it yet. So we're going to do a little test here in the shop. I've got the battery. It's been charging the whole time I'm painting it just off the little plug, USB plug charger it came with. And uh, I'll show you how all that goes together. And we're going to run this thing here in the shop floor. I'm going to move a few things around and make some space. I'm really digging this car. This is so thought out, so well designed, and so scale. I mean, we've got, like I said, independent front suspension, centered steering, equal lengths. Um, it's not some phony little suspension like uh, that. What was that? The uh, MST, one of those. It had like some kind of little used a pin spring and it was it wasn't cool and that was a 10 scale these front suspension it actually has a coil in the a-arm and a shock separate behind it the rear has coilovers on this scale quick change rear end which is just unheard of especially on 18th scale the headers the v8 this is a fantastic little car very well designed very well thought out and i'm very anxious to see how fast it goes battery compartment here flips right open we've got a place to put our plug, which is, again, very well thought out. Slide this in here. And our battery lid actually keeps the uh, plug in place. Try not to smash the body. I don't want to mess up my paint job. And boom, battery's in place. It's powered on. Flip open our remote. On car is on. <laughs> it's got a little pep to it. So, let's see how it rolls around here. We got reverse, that's cool. <laughs> There's no absolutely no drag brake, so. It will spin the tires. Let's get it down the floor and see what it can do. Oh, oh. Ooh, she's tail happy. I feel like I need more space for this. It's actually pretty quick. Oh, don't hit nothing. And I can feel that it's already geared towards oval track racing. It does not turn left well at all. So I don't know what kind of tuning the suspension has or anything. So left turn is only. <laughs> right out of the box, the trims and stuff are set perfect. It's absolutely, I've done no adjustment to it whatsoever. I can get it wide open over here. Oh. Wide open, it just walks the tail around. So it is made to slide. 
<laughs> I don't want to wear it out my tires on this. This floor's got a little bit of a texture, so. I don't know if I'm gonna make it tomorrow to race. I'd like to. We'll see uh, how it works out, but this is an awesome little car. I, I'm very surprised at the quality of it. Very much drive it with the throttle. <laughs> See if it has a brake. Eh, not really. Kinda, not exactly. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, this is an awesome little car. If they're doing this in your area, go check it out. If any of your hot local hobby shop is having these races, um, I bet these are a riot. I can't wait to get out and try it. That rhymed, didn't mean to. But uh, very, very well thought out kit and it comes already assembled. Really, really cool little car. I, I'm just stoked about it. So um, thank, I wanna thank the guys at Shaka Hobbies for uh, doing what they do having this stuff in stock and supporting it and having, uh, yeah, taking the time and actually having leagues and races and all that stuff that goes along with it. They're not just selling you a product and sending you on your way. They're giving you a place to actually go enjoy it. So get out there and do something fun with the hobby guys. Um, oh, I forgot to mention these are only, this was $209 for this car. Uh, the sprint cars, like the outlaw kind of car are, they're like 189 or 190. They're a little bit cheaper because there's a little bit less to them. Asphalt modified, stuff like that, were around 200. I, it's a pretty dang good budget way. Electronics on it are not cheap garbage. I mean, it's, it's a cheap Flysky radio, but Flysky's got a pretty good reputation. It's got a normal receiver. It's not some weird junk with everything combined into one unit. Um, it's got an actual little ESC that's sealed in a little bag. Brushless motor, LiPo ready. Uh, dude, I got no complaints. And it was awesome getting the body and being able to paint it and do it my own style. So I'm pretty happy with it. So again, thank you guys for watching. Keep it scale, even if it's 118th, and enjoy the hobby. See y'all in the next video.